Welcome, this is Pine Leaf Needles, Skirmisher of Middle Earth. Today I'm on my Minstrel, so I could show you what the new trait trees look like for the Minstrel. Now there are three tabs on the left. We have our Virtues. And I can see my Minstrel needs to work on her deeds a little bit in order to get those to be a much more decent levels. And here are my racials. And finally, here are the class traits. Now here we have three potential trees I could select. One is the Watcher of Resolve, the Warrior Scald, and the Protector of S Song. Now in each of these lines, when you choose one of these three spec lines, this becomes your specialty. And your specialty determines which of these three lines that you get as you progress. In addition, it determines a specific skill you earn. There is a skill that is earned with each of the three. For example, Soliloquy of my Spirit is what you get when you're in Watcher of Resolve, which is the healing one. And on every harmful hit, on a critical hit, plus 10% outgoing healing modifier. So these are additional things you get. And you get additional Fate and Will when you're in this stance also. Now, in the Warrior Scald, you gain Call of Fate as your skill as soon as you choose this specialty. And you also do 20% bonus on your light damage and plus 5 meter range on ballads and cries. So you have more range and you do more light damage. So that's useful when you're trying to do damage. And finally, Protector of Song. And here you get the Anthem of Prowess as your skill earned. And you also see that Coda of Melody applies a plus 2.5 plus two partial buff on your Fellowship. Coda of Resonance applies, so bonuses to your Anthems. And you have, may have two Anthems active at once. I guess that implies then that you can have only one Anthem active at once if you're in any of the other stances. Duration, 23.9 seconds. Well, that's a... I presume that's because of my legendary items I've got equipped. Very well. Now I choose one of these three, and that becomes... Now, I believe here, on my first tab, I've got the Warrior Scald. And here I am... traded pretty deeply into this. There are a couple of things I don't... I don't have finesse. Okay, one point into finesse. And then only two points into enduring morale, which improves m maximum morale. I was probably experimenting a little bit some because I suspect that I would be pumping that a little bit more when I'm on live. Just to make sure I keep alive. Now, if you are doing Warrior Scald generally in a group, then you might not worry about this too much. But if you're doing it soloing, then extra morale never hurts. And some critical strikes, I only have one rank of that. Now I notice here we have piercing ballads. And with this, there's a bonus on your critical chance on ballads. And I have not put any points into this one whatsoever. So I just skipped that completely when going on here. Now here we have Cry of the Wizards as our capstone. So another one of those cries that you get by going on here. Now on this end, we add... These are things that you gain for every five ranks that you earn. You gain one rank for each point you put into your specialty, and one rank for each of the and for every two points you put into the other two lines. That's outside of your specialty. 
So therefore, it means in order to get all the way to this end, I need to have 35 ranks total. Now, this could be ranks from any of the trees, not just here. But these are all fitting with the warrior scald. For example, this one, haste. Follows will reduce the active cooldown of cries and calls by one second. So it allows you to do your cries and calls much faster. Or Encore. Minus 30% chance for CODAs to cash out ballad buffs. So therefore that means you could keep your ballad buffs. You have a chance, a little bit of chance of doing that. Alright, now I, I did not put anything into Watcher of Resolve when I am in Warrior Skull, but I did put a few things into Protector of Song, you could see. And that's why I left out a few things here. So here, Vocal Stamina, it reduces the Anthem cooldown. I always had a liking for reducing the Anthem cooldown. Anthem go Composure, so you see you get an extra Anthem for here just at the beginning of this line. So if you want the Anthem of Composure, you don't really have to go too deep into there. You just pluck off one point and not... I know that's two points for one step down, for one tier, and you're done. And now this is the one that gives you a power over time restoring effect if you use the coda. Now, if you don't worry about power at all or anything like that, then you probably won't worry about this. Okay, weakening echoes of battle here. Echoes of battle then will give you a plus 60% damage and plus 612 echoes of battle resistance. A tactical mastery. So these are little things that I decided to put in in order to help boost how I'm working. Now, I've got 52 points in all. How do I get 52 points? This was gained by 40 points because I'm level 85, because I start to get my first point at level 7, and I get 2 points every level after that. And the other 13, other 12 I mean, the other 12 would have been from various deeds and quests. Essentially, you get 1 for every single one of the legendary quests and deeds that you did, that the things that would have unlocked a legendary trait in the past will instead give you one point and how they handle the rest of them is they've created these meta deeds that include three other deeds and completing this completing all three of those deeds will give you one point as you can see here, I have a few that I haven't done yet. For example, Graceful Demeanor, which Graceful Demeanor I've not done yet, which is to use Enlivening Grace or Improved Enlivening Grace. So therefore, you no longer need, in order to do your res deed, to get, every, to get a specific item, but you will need it if you want to get every single one of your points and as you can see here I've only done it 10 out of 100 times so I have to get cracking on that at some point and here are two subtle movements and heralded savior I haven't done yet so there are a few that I still have not yet completed so if I want to get all my points I'll need to finish those deeds so I have three more that I could complete and that will give me a maximum total of 55 naturally I will get five more by leveling up to level 95. Now let's have a look at one of the others. I've showed you Warrior Scald. Now if you're healing you probably want Watcher of Resolve. So you like Soothing Voice gives you more healing here and Poignant Phrases Critical Healing Mod. And now we unlocked here open ears. The Coda Resonance has a 10% chance to trigger an incoming healing buff. So you really like to have a little bit of extra healing here because everything here has to do with healing. Pause for breath.
let's see healing skills have a chance to refund their power cost and max rank heals refund more so therefore what this means then is that rank one we get 75 percent chance we get plus 75 percent healing skill power cost now what the odds are of getting that refund is I don't know what that is and if you're at the high end it's plus 125 so you get more power back than you put into it I don't know what the odds are though of actually triggering that event now here improved bolster courage if you use that a bit you will want that inspiring finish plus 10% 10 10% 10 inspiring finish application chance 20% 30 each stack will cause a coda of resonance at 3% outgoing healing so therefore this is giving a better chance for something to happen at 0% if you have nothing in there a quick melody you your skill inductions are much faster that's nice now here we have improved song of the hammer hand enhance the potency of the bubble from song of the hammer hand so we always get song of the hammer hand regardless of our specialty because here are all the things that you will get regardless we always want that and improved core to salvation and that gives you some more age core to salvation now grants a fellowship wide HOT and then at rank 2 it improves it and rank 3 it improves it even more and here we have piercing resonant piercing cry where scoring a critical hit with resonant piercing cry will unlock this skill which which will heal allies Which, which unlocks inspiring echoes so therefore resonant piercing cry is a skill and you have a chance of healing on a critical and at rank one you grant an AOE heal on a critical hit so that that's really nice and now triumphant spirit is this is not a skill this looks like oh no at rank one it's a skill at rank two it takes off for 75 seconds from the from the cooldown and this gives you my plus 10 percent healing skills park ah because in desperate times instantly heals the morale of the fellowship but it causes you to have a 10 percent healing skills power cost additional so therefore as one to use sparingly it looks like now you notice here even though I have these this line here is still empty because I haven't put anything into these yet strong appeal plus one percent healing critical chance oh, oh I need at least three ranks in order to unlock that one it looks like and how many does this say it needs it needs rank three and strong appeal and this is follow-up On every heal on critical hit, minus 10% on all skilled inductions for 6 seconds. That's not too bad, but if I want it, I'm going to have to do that. And finally, I get to the capstone, Legend of Helm Hammerhand. All fellows gain a morale bubble. If the bubble is broken, no effect will be gained. If the morale expires, it will grant a small fellowship heal. So that's useful. A heal to everyone and that gives me 21 points left I will want to improve my code of resonance I do want to inspiring cries and calls I can ha healing skills have a chance to reset the cooldown for my cries and calls which is useful considering how few cries and calls you probably got in watcher of resolve now here concussive shout and this is what gives you your stun chance for piercing cry so I'll probably equip this no matter what line I'm in as long as I've got at least two points because I, I really like to get that 
that particular shout done. And of course I like to, well, reduce my anthems a bit. Let's see what we've got here, critical strikes. Not too much when I'm healing because I do want to emphasize healing here. And this is how the line works. And there we go. And now we have a full tree on the matter. And that's how it works. We could just apply this. And we now have that line. So that gives me Watcher of Resolve and the Warrior Scald. And of course, Protector of Song. I've shown you a little bit by my going in three, but I don't go all the way down. And these are the various trait lines that you have when you're working with a minstrel. And these will be going live in a little bit less than two weeks from the time I am recording this. And they'll be coming up on November 18th with the release of the right of Helm, the Helm's Deep expansion for Lord of the Rings Online. Until then, this is Pine Leaf Needles. May your shield protect you. And your loot never break.